Oh, someone just died. Ready? Look at that healing. Look at this healing. <laughs> so with one full channel of Crackling Jade Lightning, I was able to heal him to full. One, one million heal, one million heal, one million heal. All, it's all one million heals, and I can fully channel it, and they're fine. Yo, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is my school today. I am bringing you a video going over the 11.0.5 20th anniversary patch notes for Miss Weaver Monk. Miss Weaver is getting some actual decent changes, then some questionable changes as well. But I want to go through all of them uh, during the downtime today, just so everyone isn't surprised as what's happening. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. All right, first off, new passive, Dome of Mist. So this is a new passive, but it's not a new spell. What this does is Envelop Mist transforms 80% of its remaining periodic healing into a Dome of Mist when it's dispelled, absorbing damage, increasing healing received by the monk by 30% for eight seconds, learned at level 45. So this is currently a PVP talent. Um, it is gone. So when in the PvP patch notes on the bottom, Dome of Mist is is no longer there. But this is a new passive, so it's it's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's been a pretty dead talent or PvP talent for a while now. So it's just nice to have pur purge protection uh, baseline, which is is really really good. I don't mind this change at all. Anything passive that Mistweaver can get, that's a PvP talent. I'm not gonna complain about. I think it's fantastic. New talent, Jade Fire Teachings. After casting Jade Fire Stomp or Thunder Focus T, Ancient Teachings transfers an additional 140% damage to healing for 15 seconds while Jade Fire Teaching is active. Your stamina is increased by 5%. So before I talk about this, I want to talk about this real quick. Ancient Teachings is now a baseline effect and transfers damage from Crackling Jade Lightning, but now transfers 30% of damage into healing. So what that is, is this passive right here and it makes your Tiger Palm, Blackout Kick, Rising Sun Kick, and Crackling Jade Lightning heal up to five injured allies within 40 yards for 30% damage on split evenly among them. So that means baseline without any fist weaving talents at all, any of your damage is converted to healing. So I think that's a really good change. Even if you're doing just even a little bit of damage, you are contributing 30% of that damage into healing. And that new talent is Jade Fire Teachings right here. So what this is, is when you use your Thunder Focus here, Jade Fire Stomp right here, you get an additional 140% damage converted to healing. So that's your main Fist Weaving talent, right? So this is what you're gonna be using for Fist Weaving. I think it's a really good idea probably to do it. You get the extra 140% uh, conversion from damage to healing and that's gonna be most of what you can do for fist weaving overall i'm really happy that they made ancient teachings baseline i think this is great and it affects crackling jade lightning which is nice but they also made it so fist weaving gets benefits from it one thing i do want to note is it's activated through thunder focus t as well so that's really really nice you don't have to rely only on your jade fire stomp right here you could also just use Thunder Focus T. New talent refreshment. So Life Cocoon now grants five stacks of mana T and applies two stacks of healing elixir to the target. That is on a choice node here with Common Coalescence. And I'll, I'll quickly go over Common Coalescence here as well, just because it's on a choice node with it. Common Coalescence has been redesigned. It increases the absorb amount of Life Cocoon by 80%. So you no longer need to ramp up your Life Cocoon anymore with Common Coalescence stacks. That is gone. You just get an 80% stronger life cocoon. I'm not really a big fan of having to <laughs> spec into, you know, waste a talent point just to make my one, you know, cool down stronger, but it is 80% stronger now with this talent. I'm trying to see, I guess since I don't need to ramp it up, I just need to press it, which is going to get, it's going to be odd to get used to that. Uh, right now I am at full gear in PVP. I have, let me see if I can get a PVP combat. I have... 7.1 million health and my life cocoon absorbs 10 million damage just to compare life cocoons this is live servers before the patch goes through i have 50 stacks of common coalescence i have 7.1 million health and my life cocoon absorbs 11.7 million healing so life cocoon is actually getting a nerf <laughs> I didn't think, I actually didn't think it was going to be less, but it, it actually is getting about a 1 million, to almost a 2 million absorption shield nerf. All right, and the second talent is called Refreshment, where Life Cocoon grants up to five stacks of mana T and applies two stacks of healing elixir to the target, which is pretty neat. I think it's pretty cool. You get, if you use it on yourself, you get four healing elixirs, which is pretty cool. And I got six stacks of mana T. So that, that's pretty good. I, it's not terrible. I just don't think, uh, we know, Life Cocoon is going to be absorbing, what, 3.1 million, it said there. So there's just no way, 
you know, there's there's no way you would choose refreshment over common core lessons. There's just no way. I think common core lessons just too good. It's always going to be good unless they just want to make it so Life Cocoon has a good cooldown without having to spec into or you know get another talent. I I just don't think there's any world the way you would choose refreshment, but still really good options to have. The next one is new talent rushing wind kick, which is personally my new favorite spell they've added. So what this does is it kicks up a powerful gust of wind dealing nature damage in a 25 yard cone to enemies in front of you split evenly among them damage increased by 5% for each target hit up to 30% grants rushing winds for four seconds, increasing renewing mist healing by 50% replaces rising sun kick and on a jo choice node with jade fire teachings. So it's kind of weird that they made it, split damage evenly among enemies but then the damage increased by five percent for each target hit but it is right here so you cannot fist weave with this talent you cannot fist weave sadly it is on a choice node with the jade fire teachings so you can't play both it also has a what is this a 25 yard cone and it replaces your rising sun kick so i can just show you i love the animation on it boom yeah, so these are PvP target dummies. I'll show my combat log real quick here. So my rushing wind kick hit for 83k damage and it hit three people. So it obviously split. If I do single target, bam, I do 316k damage with my my little kick. Uh, also, I want to note that the buff you get increases the healing of rising of renewing mist. So if I do my kick. And I get this buff here, renewing mist healing increased by 50%. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to probably kick into a renewing mist, which I think is pretty important because you get that benefit. You get the benefit from the healing. So you're going to kick renewing mist. So if there's no other reason to play this talent, it would be to get that 50% bonus healing for renewing mist. That's my opinion, at least. And you can do damage from range, which is always really nice. The next talent is called Jade Empowerment. And this is what everyone's been talking about. Casting Thunder Focus T increases your next Crackling Jade Lightning's damage by a thousand percent. This is actually not correct. It's 800% on PTR and cause it to chain to four additional enemies. Choice no Dance of Chi Gi. So they made some changes down here. They built in one of the Fist Weaving talents into Jade Fire Stomp. And then they moved Dance of Chi Gi here with Jade Empowerment. So this is exciting i've done a lot of testing with this talent i've tested it with master of harmony with celestial and i think it's it's good for both they no longer stack the damage anymore so you press thunder focus t you get the buff the jade empowerment buff and it does increase the damage over 800 percent and then it cleaves to four people and you just press it and it ticks for five times so on average it's doing about a million damage per full channel so if you don't have anyone that's going to interrupt you or if you're able to free cast or someone's stunned it's going to do about a million damage to them which is is pretty good a million damage every 30 seconds i'm not going to complain about now there are going to be some questions you cannot stack these two so you can stack the buffs but it doesn't increase the damage it doesn't stack the damage anymore it did trust me it did <laughs> it also doesn't increase how many people it chains off to. It's just normal now. But you can go back to back. So you could technically do 2 million damage if you wanted to. And you might see some healing numbers going out. That is from the the passive ancient teachings. And something I do want to note is it does it is affected by Jade Fire teachings. So you can the healing from your crackling jade lightning it gets converted to healing and you could play jade fire teachings to make it so 140 percent of the damage you do with Kraken jade lightning gets converted to healing i don't know if this is an oversight or what but i feel like this is going to get nerfed all right let me sh let me show you how much healing you can do with the Kraken jade lightning with combined with the ancient teachings right so i'm going to thunder focus t crackle and th this is going to get nerfed th th there's no way this doesn't get changed i healed for 1.4 million into a 976k basically i healed for 1.5 million 1 million 1 million so i've healed for three and a half million for my crackling jade lightning this is going to get utterly nerfed in pvp i feel like there's no way it doesn't but that's the interaction between jade empowerment and jade fire teachings now since it does heal for for your crackling jade lightning all right talked about common global essence into teaching blackout kick damage increased by 25 percent maybe fist weaving might be a little bit Decent now. Awaken Jade Fire now additionally causes Blackout Kick to strike two additional targets at 70% effectiveness. That was one of the Fist Weaving talents that got baked into uh, Awaken Feyline. Crackling Jade Lightning now channels 25% faster, which is great. Dance of Chi-Gi's chance of trigger has been increased by 100% as we've talent location. So that's just Dance of Chi-Gi that you normally do with Fist Weaving. It just got moved with the Cherry Snow of Jade, uh, the Jade Empowerment. 
and Belt Mist can now be dispelled. It needs it. They made it to undispellable, but now it's dispellable. But now we have Dome of Mist baseline. That's fine. And then Ancient Concordance is that fist weaving talent that got baked into the uh, Jade Fire uh, Awakened Jade Fire. And then Nourishing Chi is removed from the game as well. I, I, that's sad because I really like Nourishing Chi. I think this was really, really good in Shadowlands. But again, any talent you put on a choice node with Common Coalescence is just going to be a dead talent, in my opinion. I think it's just dead. I don't think anything anyone's going to play anything different than <laughs> Common Coalescence. Oh, someone just died. Ready? Look at that healing. Look at this healing. <laughs> so with one full channel of Crackling Jade Lightning, I was able to heal him to full one one million heal one million heal one million heal all it's all one million heals and i can fully channel it and they're fine so i think that's gonna get nerfed probably in pvp at least probably in pve as well and then there were some pvp changes and we all know what the pvp changes were very depressing it made me very sad but we'll talk about it real quick so first zen spheres has been redesigned so this is interesting zen spheres now has a six second cooldown it was none it has a global cooldown of one second, was one and a half seconds, and then each sphere has an initial heal or damage. And Sphere of Despair now removes, reduces all damage done by 3%, was only 10% to the monk. So this, this is interesting. I do like this a lot because the global always felt awkward. It was similar to Yulon. Yulon always felt like an awkward global, but now what this does is it does damage or healing. So I'm going to use Zen Sphere on the enemy and it does, it does, okay, 198k damage. All right. But then it also reduces the, the damage they do by 3%. And it also increases the damage you take by 10%. Oh, someone's going to die again. Ready? Crack and Jade Lightning. Heal him. 1 million. 1 million. This, it's going to get nerfed in PvP. I, I can guarantee you this. It's going to get nerfed. I don't know how long it's going to take, but it will get nerfed. <laughs> so this does, yeah, 200k damage. And then the heal from it is, let's see. So it's a six second cooldown, which is. It's okay. Let's see if we can get a heal going, though. Uh, can we heal you? Nope, they're in a duel. We'll wait until this guy dies. Oh, no. He's not going to die. We heal 246k. So, sadly, this feels like a nerf. I'm going to be honest with you. The six-second cooldown is, is kind of unfortunate. The heal is nice, but it's 214k healing while also having 7 million health pool is... Yeah, it's just not not ideal, not ideal. So, I think it, this feels kind of like a nerf, sadly. And we're just gonna heal this guy up. We're gonna heal heal the pally up. <laughs> uh, yeah, it just feels like a nerf. This does, I, unless I'm wrong. And Dome Mist is no longer PvP talent. Is now learned by Mist Priest at level 45. This is that passive up above. Yeah, it's no longer PvP talent. And then the saddest part of these patch notes. Listen to me. The saddest part is that they have removed Thunderous Focus T from the game. Now I don't know why they did this. Actually, I do know why. BG Blitz. I don't. I would have never thought in a million years that BG Blitz was going to be the reason why Miss Weaver got nerfed, but it is, and it's very sad. Um, nope. I don't think Miss. I think Miss Weavers will be decent flag carriers. I don't think they're going to be insane. I think Preservation Evoker is going to absolutely pass Miss Weaver as the best healer for RBGs and BG Blitz. Probably not RBGs, but definitely BG Blitz. Prez is is has too many tools and it's just so much better maybe even disc as well but this is sad we have no more knocks anymore and we have no more bunch of rolls instead of trying to balance it they just removed it and then one change that they put through that i am really not a fan of and it's not in the patch notes is this right here thunder focus t provides immunity to silence interrupt effects for five seconds so i don't know why they did this uh, maybe they did added this for the kraken j lightning damage i don't know but i really 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 don't like this so when you thunder focus t you get seven focus t i i just don't like this 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 is one less cooldown i need to rotate with when I'm dealing with interrupt. So now if I ha don't have Thunder Focus T, I think, first of all, I think Master Farming is going to be the best hero talent after today. Uh, that's for sure. And then you just have no nothing to rotate if you play Celestial, right? Because normally I play Zen Focus T and then I rotate my Zen Focus T with my Thunder Focus T and Velvet Mist just to get some healing out. And you don't have that anymore. Now you have two th charges of Thunder Focus T and it can, it's going to give you Zen Focus T. So I just think... The Master of Harmony is going to be best today, um, after today, just because you are going to have two charges of Thunder Focus T, and if you play Zen Focus T, you know, you'll have technically two charges of Zen Focus T, which isn't terrible, but it's just less cooldowns to rotate. 
But yeah, those are the changes in 11.0.5 to Miss Weaver Monk. A lot of good changes. I do think, I, I genuinely, I, I do think that the Jade Empowerment is going to get nerfed. Especially the interaction with Jade Fire Teachings and the Crackling Jade Lighting is going to get nerfed heavily. But we will see. Maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't, Miss Weaver is going to be <laughs> freaking insane. So that is it for me. If you have any questions, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.